Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm going to show you how to get Apple II games up and running on your Raspberry Pi while running RetroPie. I'm going to go over installing the emulator, then we're going to move to the PC and I'm going to show you what type of games work within the LinApple emulator that we're going to download through the RetroPie menu. We need to be connected online, either Wi-Fi or Ethernet. We're going to install the LinApple emulator right now. Go to the RetroPie menu. Scroll down to RetroPie Setup. From here, we're going to scroll to Manage Packages, Manage Optional Packages, and we're going to find the Lin Apple Emulator. Right here, click OK, and we want to install from binary. Now, this could take a little while. It took me about four minutes to install, so just be patient. Now that it's installed, we're going to go back, 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 and we're going to perform a reboot. Now we have the emulator installed, it's time to add some ROMs. I'm going to move over to my PC. I transfer all of my games over network, but if you're using the USB transfer method, you can follow this also. Let's move over to the PC now, and I'm going to explain what type of games work in the Lin Apple emulator. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is head over to the RetroPie wiki page on the Apple II. We're going to scroll down here. The emulator we're using is Lin Apple, ROM folder, Apple II, Game or ROM extension is .dsk, .disk, no BIOS. We're going to place our .dsk Apple games in our Apple II ROM folder on our Raspberry Pi. There's a few things you need to note about this emulator. Upon boot, press F1. It'll give you an overview of all the controls because controls vary by game. I was able to play Load Runner and Pac-Man with a controller, no problem at all. But if you're trying to play Oregon Trail, you will need a keyboard. Go ahead and read through this. It's very easy to use this emulator. I'm going to show you what kind of games I have here. So I have an Apple II games folder on my desktop. Now these games are .dsk. If you get them, they might be zip, so you're going to need to extract them. .dsk. I'm going to snap this to the left hand side. I'm going to open up a file explorer. From the quick access bar on the top, we're going to type in backslash backslash RetroPie, all capital. Press enter. I'm on Windows 10. You may be prompted for a password or a username. In the first box, just put PI, Pi. It'll connect for you. You need to be on the same network as the Raspberry Pi, so my PC and the Pi are on the same router right now. We're going to go to the ROMs folder. We should now have an Apple II folder, and we're going to take our DSK games, place them right in here. We're now ready to play Apple II games on our Raspberry Pi running RetroPie. We're going to move over there now, and I'm just going to give you a little bit of a demo. So like it said in the RetroPie wiki, you probably want a keyboard connected to your Raspberry Pi. The Apple II was a computer that used a keyboard for most games. Some games use controllers, but a lot of them, you really need a keyboard to play. So we have our ROMs on a Raspberry Pi. Apple II is not showing up. That's because we need to do a quick reboot. We're going to press Start. Scroll down to Quit. Restart Emulation Station. Yes. We now have the Apple II logo on our main menu here. I'm going to go into my folder, and as you can see, I have the three games that I added. First game I'm going to start is Pac-Man. So like I said, I have a keyboard connected. Pac-Man can be played with a keyboard or the Apple joystick. It's up to you, but I'm going to press F1 on my keyboard. Read through this. It tells you everything you need to know. F10 will quit the emulator. If you're using a controller, start and select will also exit us out back into emulation station. Press F1 to exit that menu. I want to use the Apple joystick, so I'm going to press 2 on my keyboard. And now my controller that I have hooked to my Raspberry Pi, I'm using an Xbox One S wired controller, should work. Even though we're using the controller, if I try to press my keys, nothing's going to happen because you need a keyboard for this. You still have to press space. How many players will we like? One player. Press return to play. That'll be enter. And we can now play Pac-Man. 
and we can now play the Apple II version of Pac-Man on our Raspberry Pi running RetroPie. My analog stick on my Xbox One controller is controlling Pac-Man at the bottom here. But you do need a keyboard to get through some of these menus. Now, I'm sure there's probably a way to map your controller, but I haven't messed with it because I do not mind having a keyboard connected while playing these Apple games. Let's back out of here. You can press Start and Select on your controller, or you can press F10 on your keyboard. Let's start Load Runner. Now this is a game I can use my controller completely to start the game and everything. Just pressed A on my controller. So my analog stick on my Xbox One S controller is going to control my character. I'm at the very bottom little white guy there. A is going to make the ground disappear. If you've never played this, uh, you might not know what I'm talking about, but here we go. Now I can move over him. Totally messed up. I should have just went down and avoided him. I'll press start and select on my controller. Exit out. And that's it, guys. You now have Apple II up and running on your Raspberry Pi running RetroPie. Now, I'm on the latest version, which is 4.2. It'll probably work in the future also. Lin Apple works great. There is a standalone version for the Raspberry Pi that emulates the Apple II computer. An amazing program. If you guys need any help, first, refer to the RetroPie wiki page. Pretty much everything you need is there. If you're still having issues, come back, leave a comment down below, and I'll try my hardest to help. Like always, thanks for watching.